Governor Gretchen Whitmer's budget is a massive $61 billion, and it doesn't include a word about road funding. And while she intends to fund a lot of road fixes using a bond proposal, it's only for busy state roads. Local 4's Rod Maloney is live tonight with a look at where things stand and the still contentious battle, Rod. Governor Gretchen Whitmer spent the last year wrangling with Republicans over road funding and finally went out on her own to the bond market for $3.5 billion with a $5 billion price tag. But House Transportation Chair Jack O'Malley wonders... But local roads were ignored, and 90% of the roads are local. The governor knows there's still a major fight ahead. But ultimately, the legislature needs to come back with a, a long-term funding solution. They didn't like mine. That's fine but they need to counter with something. Which sounds too familiar to House Appropriations Chairman Shane Hernandez. I think we're right back to where we started last budget. It's important to remember the governor's vetoes last year left a lot of unspent money, six to seven hundred million, and that's likely going to end up in the spot the governor didn't want it last year, the budget. But there's a twist. Hernandez told Local 4 that Republicans know where they want road funding to come from. The speaker and I are on the same page with making sure that every penny paid at the pump goes to our roads, and that involves the sales tax shift. If you were to go back to the House budget from last term, uh, that was our priority. It generates about $850 million more per year without a tax increase. Well, there's always a solution. We just got to get everybody in the room. Pennies at the pump. Let's shift that. that I think that's huge. Everybody uh, seems to agree that that makes sense. Every penny that you pay at the pump should go to roads. The governor is saying, you know, hey, give me a proposal and we can talk about it. The Republicans are saying, yeah, how about coming and sitting down and actually talking about it? That's what you heard from Jack O'Malley there. One of the things that's going to be different this year for sure is that as part of the budget agreement last year, they made it so that they would agree to a budget by July 1st and not October 1st. And the belief is in Lansing, at least so far, they think they can get there. Back to you. Well, that remains to be seen. Rod, I am wondering, though, did the governor say anything about that gas tax shift? Well, she's aware of it, mm -hmm. but it hasn't been officially presented to her. She says she wants to see it in writing with numbers, along with any other th item that they want to propose, and then they can talk about it. So we'll see if they, in fact, do sit down. And we know you'll keep us posted. Thanks, Rod.